Well, the 14th annual Shindigs National Soccer Festival began today. The tournament at IPFW features teams of all ages and brings in fans from all across the country. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth is in Studio 15 tonight with more on what attracts people to this event. Heather, the high school and college soccer seasons have just begun. And the Shindig Soccer Fest is nationally known as a premier preseason college tournament, making Fort Wayne a destination for many this weekend. The Summit City is full of soccer fans this weekend. People come in from all over. Well, my son plays for North Carolina, and uh, we wanted to see him. It's so close to home. We're from Chicago. Jim Yates is one of up to 11,000 fans expected at the Soccer Fest. Among the college programs, several from Indiana, including some from this corner of the state. We have Division I, Division II, Division III, and NAIA. Three women's games um, and, uh, and a lot of men's games. So. While soccer is the focus of the weekend, Organizers say this is one of the last festivals of the summer. It's a festival atmosphere. We've got games, we've got good food, we've got different types of food every year. And when they're not watching soccer, fans will give a boost to the city's economy. Fort Wayne's a great town. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here, and uh, we're looking forward to going out to dinner with some of the folks. They'll also go to the malls. They'll do uh, different things. We've heard of the zoo and other types of things. So it's events like this, I think, that it's very difficult to, to put a number to it. Um, but, uh, you know, the, it, it attracts a lot of people from uh, outside of the city. The festival continues tomorrow and Saturday. Youth teams will also play in a different tournament at the Hefner so Soccer Complex on Saturday and Sunday. That has 140 teams playing over those two days. Reporting from Studio 15, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.